Hey guys, Mishka here. Oh, I forgot the micro system. There we go. Hey guys, Mishka here. Another video for you today. This one is about alchemy. Woohoo! We're gonna make potions. We're gonna discuss how to make them, what ingredients you use, uh, and then how to age them, and why would you want them. So first things first. In your journal, there's a potions tab. We got a whole bunch of potions that we can make. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you guys the healing potion. So, Alchemy 101. If you don't have the full steps memorized, keep your book out where you can see it. I've already had uh, lay, pfft, laid out the ingredients on the table here for the basic healing potion. Um, you put your ingredients in this chest here, and it'll put them on the table. I put them in these specific spots. That way, they're nice and easy and lined up for me. Uh, so the potion making table, you can put a whole bunch of ingredients on here. And this is the um, the, the cauldron where you put stuff. So uh, when it comes to making potions, you need to follow a specific recipe. If you don't follow the recipe, for instance, if I just toss this little queen's ear in there, and I dip the bottle, I created a ruined potion. I actually created two ruined potions, of course. Uh, I've got a uh, overlevel perks that give me bonus potions every now and then. Of course, they would proc on a ruined potion. I'll go ahead and drink those and hope they don't kill me. Nope, they killed me. Right. So, actually making a potion. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make a healing potion. So we're gonna start off by putting Queen's ear in, Oop. and then we're gonna wait for it to turn yellow, and then put Rotospore. So you can actually see up on top here, uh, mm. kind of behind the XP bar and all that jazz, it gives you the order so it's going to be blue turquoise green then yellow so we're turquoise now we're going to go to green next and then we're going to go to yellow when it's yellow we're going to put rotospore in so there's yellow we're going to take our rotospore and drop it in there it's going to go back to blue now oh i almost messed up it's rotospore plus queen's ear ha 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 tricky it's going to turn blue then we're going to put sunfish bloop and then while it's blue dip bottle into cauldron Look at that, we created a healing potion. So, let's do it again. Queen's ear. We wait for it to turn yellow, put Rotospear and Queen's ear. Add after Rotospore while liquid is still yellow. Let's see, here we wait. Turquoise. I think it takes like five seconds after you put an ingredient in for it to turn to the next one. If you don't turn, put anything in, it just turns to the next one. So we're going to go ahead and prepare. Yellow, Rotospore, Queen's ear. It's going to turn blue, then we put Sunfish. Blue. We put sunfish. It's still blue. Dip the potion. What's up? We got healing potions. You see, I got three because I made a bonus one thanks to that uh, overlevel for a bonus potion. Woo! -hoo! So that's the kind of the the basics of it. Now let's get a little bit more complicated here. Uh, I happen to know that my guild is low on uh, empowered or enhanced strikes potions, so we're gonna make some enhanced strike potion. So first off, we're gonna go get our ingredients. We need sour bells. Sunfish to start. Luckily, we have sunfish in there. So we're gonna get sour bells. Where are they? Sour bells. We got sunfish. We'll get pine cone. It's like thirty. Why not? What is this? No. Sour bells, sunfish, pine cone, ridgeback fish. Uh, spiral back. We're overweight, so we're gonna drop these off. And we're gonna put them in order here. So we got sour bell. Sunfish, Pinecone, Ridgeback, and then Spiralback. After Spiralback, we need Wilting Sun, Blimp, Kylakin. Put these back. Oops. So, Wilting Sun is here. Uh, let's get a full stack. Then we need Blimp and Kylakin. After Blimp and Kai Lacken, what do we need? Crown Foil, Flounder, Blood Mace. Crown Foil, Flounder, and Blood Mace. We're just gonna get everything. Blood Maces. Can I still move? I can still move. Haha. <laughs> and I like to put them in order, that way I know right away what to put next. Spiderback, Wilting Sun. Boom. Blimp, Kai Lacken. Right. Crown Foil, Flounder, Blood Mace. Crown foil, flounder, blood maces. That should be everything. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got everything. So when it comes to more complicated potions, you might have to put in multiple ingredients. So like sour bells times three, sunfish times three. You have to do it in that order. So I have to go. Actually, I'm gonna unequip this. One, two, three, and then three sunfish. One, two, three. Now we're going to wait for it to turn green, and we're going to do three pinecone and three ridgeback. Again, in that order. Not pinecone, ridgeback, pinecone, ridgeback, pinecone, ridgeback, but three pinecone and then three ridgeback. That was a tongue twister in and of itself. So when it turns green, one, two, three, one, two, three. Next one is going to be in yellow face, so I got a little bit of time to talk. Um, this is another reason why I put it in order, because like offhand, I don't know that that's snail. Is that snail? That is snail. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know offhand that that is spiralback snail. Uh, just because the way it looks, if I'm not used to this. So here we go. We've got three spiral back. One, two, three, and then three wilting sun. One, two, and three. Cool. The next one, green. We need one blimp, two kylakin, two crown foil. So we're doing it in that order. Again, it's very important you do it in that order. If you do it the other way around, if you mess up even one thing, the entire potion is ruined. So green, blimp, two kylakin, and two crown foil. When green, cool. Now we're going to wait for it to go back to yellow, so it's going to go blue. It resets after every step. Uh, there are overlevel perks coming where you'll be able to increase the speed of it changing colors. So when it's yellow, so that's the next step. We're going to do two flounder. Uh, two flounder? Two flounder, yeah. That's this one. So yellow, two flounder, and then three blood maces. One, two, and three. Cool. And then finally, dip bottle when red. Woo! This is quite the, uh, yeah, this is quite the, the recipe. This is quite the potion. And there are some potions that will take up every single slot. So we're missing, like, one spot over there. If I were making the, like, times ten uh, end potion, that's going to that's gonna take up all of them. I actually just finished a stack and a half of those. Uh, which I'll show you here in a second. So finally, dip bottle in red. Look at that. Enhanced Strikes Potion. And your prowess in alchemy has allowed you to make an additional potion. Perfect. I really wanted that to proc when making this one. And here's why. As you see, this is a times 10 Enhanced Strikes Potion, which means it made 10 potions. Now, if you take the overlevel perks where you can make an additional potion, that will proc and give you another 10 potions. So... If you're going to be making potions and you're doing the times 10 recipes, highly recommend maxing out that overlevel perk because it'll give you a lot of extra potions. It is amazing. So that's the basics of how to make the potions. Now, what do we do with them, right? Um, having an enhanced strikes potion, that's good, right? Having an intel potion is good, but it's even better if you age it. So how do we age the potions? We're going to head on over to the basement. So, whoop, in the back of the basement here, behind, never mind the boss in the minecart. He did not do leg day. Look how tiny his legs are. Uh, right here, this little chest with a potion on it. This is your aging rack. You can age potions here. So as you see, I've got a lot of potions aging. Um, once you stick the potions in there, it takes a set amount of time for it to age. And that changes depending on what the potion is. So like for uh, healing potions, I believe it's like 24 hours. For, um, for the stat potions, though, it takes a full week for these things to age. So I could, yes stack this three and one and two and one and 51 i could put them all together but i put them in here on different days so they're going to age at a different rate once you put them in there if you move it around or you take it out and put it back in it resets the complete process so i'm not going to move these because they're several days in um, and i don't want to ruin that progress so i'm going to take this setup 21 i'm going to stick it in there and close it and then one week from now that set of 21 will be aged. Uh, do be sure that you don't leave it in there too long. Uh, I recommend checking in um, every now and then because if you leave it in there too long, it will overage and you will get a ruined potion and it will not uh, function as anything. So, uh, yeah, that's alchemy. Note, it, note that um, if you want to do tiles, if you want to make tiles, um, it's the same thing, except instead of plant and uh, fish, we're going to use ore. So Knight's Tear Grath, Orphobsidian, Unstanium, Cryogil, Nehomium, stuff like that. 
Um, last but not least, you can also make dye. There are different dye that you can make um, with alchemy, like toffee major, orange accent, terracotta. I'm sure there's more. I just don't have the recipes for them because uh, I don't know where to look for them. So that's alchemy in a nutshell. Yeah, uh, make sure that you follow the recipes perfectly. Uh, if you, like I said, if you mess up any step along the way, it'll make a ruined potion, and you might not know what step it is. I promise you, every single potion here, uh, it works. If you do it correctly, it will work. If for some reason it doesn't work, that means that it was a user error. You did something wrong. Trust me, I've made many, many ruined potions, and I'm like, I don't know where I went wrong. Everything seemed to be perfect. Um, it can be the smallest things. It can be that, like, you had these two out of order. Um, it can be a couple days ago, I was making intel potions times 10, and I didn't realize I had the wrong fish. I had a uh, perch instead of flounder. It can be the smallest thing. So if you get a ruined potion, what I recommend, first thing first, check every single item. Like, double check, you know, over here. It's like, make sure it's sour bells and then sunfish, pinecone, ridgeback. You know, go through, make sure everything's in the right order. Uh, and if it is, just try the potion again. If you ruin it again after that, um, th what I've had to do before is I've recorded myself making the potion. And if it still didn't work, I go back and I watch step by step. And I go back, you know, rewind and make sure that I can find where I went wrong. So that's alchemy. Um, it's great. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it'll save you a lot of dram and make you a lot of dram if you decide to sell the potions. Or, uh, you know, it'll save you the dram so you don't have to go out and buy them from everybody. So uh, that being said, good luck, happy hunting, and take those over-level perks.